Well, welcome to Retro Ramblings for a good Friday. What a powerful day. What a powerful uh, time of the year. During Lent, we celebrate the Stations of the Cross. We remember all that Jesus went through to get to Calvary. Great blessing of mine is to have been to the Holy Land twice and been on Calvary. Twice to, you've been there. Yeah, oh, to nice. touch the spot where Jesus was crucified. You would see these tourist groups come through and the tour guide would say, you know, here's where the Christians believe that Jesus was crucified. And then they would pause for maybe 45 seconds. People would take pictures or whatever. They're like, okay, come on, come on. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, you're in the most holy, sacred places of the mm -hmm. whole world. And, you know, we're just going to pause for 45 seconds. Um, so what a great blessing to have been able to spend hours there, you know, right. praying and mm -hmm. reflecting. Yeah, we, we were even, we went there this last summer, and we were able to spend the night in the Holy Sepulchre, too, which was a great experience yeah. as well. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, what a great blessing. I was reflecting earlier today how it was kind of strange that it's Good Friday. It's obviously not so good what happened to Jesus, but the freedom, the grace that came out of Jesus' death uh, is, is definitely a good thing. And uh, before we started uh, recording, Adam and I talked a little bit about the movie, The Passion of the Christ. Yeah, that's a, that's been a great gift for many people, great yeah. grace to really bring that uh, drama to life for them. And certainly some images, graphic images to pray with as well that maybe didn't exist for us before. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember the, after the first time I saw it, um, I was with... Uh, my girlfriend at the time and we didn't say anything to each other on the way out of the theater we went straight to the adoration chapel we didn't know where oh, else wow. to go you yeah. know um, so yeah pretty powerful maybe one of the more powerful experiences that I've had with that uh, film for instance uh, was just this last summer we went to the Holy Land but also we did a 30-day silent retreat and throughout the retreat you would follow the various episodes of Christ's life starting with the incarnation moving uh, to various healings and then ending up on the uh, the passion of Christ going through that narrative and the different Gospels and so as a part of that they showed the film the passion and I wasn't really intending on going but I stumbled upon it somehow I don't know how you do that but I, it happened and it had just started so I figured what the heck I'll watch it you know it was about the third or fourth time I'd watched it because uh, it's so powerful I and the images stay with you that I don't really watch it every year but I decided to watch it last year and the, th the parts that really stuck out to me were when Mary would come onto the screen. I remember, for example, the image after Jesus is scourged at the pillar, Mary coming with a bunch of towels, mopping up all the blood. And then, of course, the episode of Jesus falling and Mary running to him, not only as a child, but uh, Jesus bearing the cross. And those images were just really powerful to me. But in that moment, and in those moments, it really hit me as to how I should view her a little bit differently uh, as mother moving forward. And it, it was kind of like she's the perfection of what my mother is. And not to say that my mom did a bad job, but <laughs> if she's watching. <laughs> but uh, Mary, like anything goes, even the things that uh, feel like you can't bring to your earthly mother like those are the things that we can bring to our Heavenly Mother. And it was just a really powerful experience for me. And what a great gift we know that today is about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. But in the midst of Him hanging there, He does just that. He gives us His Mother, you know, in the Gospel reading for today. Jesus, you know, tells uh Mary, behold your son, and to John, he says, behold your mother, 
And through that, Jesus gives his mother to all of us, that we can all look to the Blessed Mother as our mother. Maybe as you watch this video, as you celebrate, as you remember Good Friday, maybe pray and ask the Blessed Mother to lead you into a deeper understanding of Jesus' love and mercy for you as he hangs on the cross, that it is a sign of how much he is willing to sacrifice so that you can be close to him, close to God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. She was so close to him and really felt the suffering of Christ too, just to maybe ask for that reality. If we feel like we're kind of numb to that sacrifice that Jesus gave for us, She's a really good person to turn to, to maybe ask for that grace. Like, uh, I want to feel sorry and uh, despise my sins, sins for what they, yeah. the pain and sorrow that they caused Jesus first and foremost, but then maybe to have a share in the sorrow that she felt following him on the cross too. Uh, the Mary will always lead you closer and deeper to Christ. Amen to that. Yeah. Well, I guess thanks again for yeah. tuning in to another episode. Uh, continue to have a blessed trip to him. Amen. Take care and God bless. God bless. You know, if you haven't, uh, I would strongly encourage you to do a Marian consecration sometime in your life. I did the 33 days to morning glory, uh, which was a powerful thing to do, the, uh, the consecration of Mary at the end. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. It's, yeah, it's really simple. Uh, I started it when I went to Guatemala once and I was unfortunately not able to complete it because of that. I think I lost the book or something like that, but I remember <laughs> the, the meditations each day were very practical, simple, and uh, just really had a big impact on me.